Are you frustrated with trying to decide what kind of property to buy in today's market? Hi, I'm Kurt Wanabo with San Diego Real Estate and Investments. There are deals everywhere in real estate today. So let me ask you a question. Why haven't you found your deal yet? Maybe you haven't had somebody sit down with you and explain the different types of properties out there in the market. If you haven't, I'd highly recommend setting up a free, no obligation consultation with myself or one of my buyer agent team members who specialize working with buyers to walk you through them all. With short sales, foreclosures, traditional sales, and new construction homes, it can be a bit confusing and overwhelming. But in the meantime, it's important to understand the different types of properties and the pros and cons of each and which property is right for you. And in this brief video, I'm gonna go over just some of the short pros and cons of buying a short sale. First, some of the bad things about short sales. Number one, they can take some time, typically 30 to 60 days to get an answer on your offer. So if you're looking to move quickly, these may not be the best properties for you. Also, some listing agents do not know what they're doing with short sales and therefore it could take longer to get an answer, sometimes months or even years, and you will want to avoid short sales with inexperienced listing agents. Number two, sometimes the list price is just too low or just plain wrong. Remember, a listing agent sets the list price and that doesn't mean that's what the bank is willing to accept. And too many agents try to trick buyers into looking at underpriced homes. Number three, some short sales will never close. This is because some agents have no idea how to structure short sales properly. It's always best to work with a buyer's agent who can point out which short sales are good and which ones are bad. Some listing agents simply don't know how to do them and you could be wasting your time. Now, some of the great things about short sales. Number one, you can get exclusivity on a property, meaning you won't have any competition. If done correctly, only your offer will go into the bank, even if another offer comes along. This is much different than a foreclosure or other types of sales. If the bank counters you, many times you will have first right of refusal on that property. Number two, you will be given a full set of disclosures and history on the property thus knowing a little bit more about the home you are buying. This is much different from a foreclosure property. Number three, the property could be in much better condition. The sellers will be held accountable to keeping the property in the condition it was when you wrote your offer. Again, much different than a foreclosure. Number four, you might be able to get closing costs or a break in price for major items that need repair. You will have to document that you need these closing costs or why the repairs would affect the price of the home but it can be done. Number five, you might get a great deal. Banks sometimes will provide a good deal on short sales, maybe even up to 10 to 15% in some cases. And again, if you are not competing with other buyers, this is all gain for you. Now that I've shared with you some of the pros and cons of buying a short sale, the next step would be to sit down with somebody and determine if this is the type of property you would feel comfortable buying. Give me or one of my buyer agents a call to set up a free consultation to go over some of the other benefits of buying these kinds of properties. It's important to be working with a broker who knows the pros and cons of buying a short sale. So give me a call and set up your free, no obligation consultation. I also have other videos on the pros and cons of buying a foreclosure, a traditional sale, and new construction. Thank you for your time and I look forward to meeting with you.